Hello everybody and welcome to your 13th C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be making a calculator now this is most likely going to be your hardest tutorial yet it's not going to be overly hard we're just using everything we've used up into this point right so we're just going to combine them all in one into one big program so to start off what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable a boolean variable name done and we're going to set it equal to false uh, we're going to have our total that's going to be equal to zero uh, we need our amount and that's it for now so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say while not done and while that's basically saying while uh, done is equal to false so it's the same as saying while done is equal to false and if you want to check if a, a boolean variable is true you just say while that and then it will check to see if it's true or not so right now we'll say while not done because you'll more commonly use that so uh once you if you forget how uh, uh something works just just think of it in english it's basically while this is true then we do this okay so if it's an if statement we say if this is true then we do that right etc et blah 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 right and uh, so for the while loop, normally with game programming, we, we have game loops and, and such like that. So uh, what a game loop does is that it loops through all the game elements and it keeps on updating and drawing stuff to the screen until uh, the program finishes. And that's how other softwares and stuff run uh, too. Uh, so uh, that's essentially what we're doing here. We're going to keep on looping until the person wants to stop the program. And that's how uh, all software should be, right? It shouldn't exit after one ex execution of the program, then they have to close it and open it again. Uh, when they execute something, you have to give them the option to see whether they have to close the program or not, much like the X button if they want to close the application or not. So this is a good lesson on how to do that. So we're going to have a while loop, and right here we're going to say enter the amount of numbers. Okay, so they're going to enter the amount, so this should be familiar to you. So now we're going to use a for loop, and I'm going to name it uh, i. Uh, normally, commonly, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, variable names that they initialize. They initialize it with a single letter. Uh, it's, it's easier that way. It's faster to type, etc., uh, etc. Et and when you're if you when you get into functions and stuff like that, well, when you put them into parameters and stuff, uh, it makes it easier than putting a, a whole variable name in there. And it, it's it's kind of common so people know that it's part of a for loop or something like that when you have a single letter they know it's a counter so anyways we're going to say while it's less than the amount and we're going to increment it by one okay so right now what we're going to do is we're going to take an operator and we're going to take in a number so for the operator we're going to use a char i'm going to name it op and for the number i'm going to use a float number so for the operator for, we haven't really learned much about chars but a char is a single character so it could be uh any letter uh it could be a num it could be a number if you want to display a number blah 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 but normally it's just for regular characters right and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to let the user input a character whether it be plus minus divide or multiplication and from that we're going to uh, see what we should do with the next calculation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say enter uh, enter the operator so what we're going to uh, what, what's gonna do is we're gonna say that and we're gonna put the total and we're gonna put a space between them so it's and then we're going to get the operator and then after that in the next line we're going to say enter the number uh enter a number and we're going to get a number so we prompt for a number we get a number we prompt for operator we get operator prompt for a number we get a number so now we're going to be utilizing a switch statement and we're going to say the the operator okay so we're gonna say that case now use single quotations. I know I never we never learned about chars in depth, but uh, for chars we do single quotations and for strings we use double quotations. Don't worry, we'll all learn about this later on. But for the sake of this tutorial, uh, we're gonna be using this. 
So uh, we say single quotations, they put plus, uh, then we're going to say total plus equals number. Now don't forget to do break. If we don't, if we don't do break, then it's going to do all the different calculations, right? Which is not what we do, which is what we don't want. So they do uh, subtract, then we're going to say minus equals, and we'll say break. And we're going to say case uh, divide. Then we're going to say total divide equals number break and case times total times equal number and break. And let me spell that right. Okay. So we got our switch statement done. So as we know, it's going to keep on looping until it reaches the amount uh, uh, that we need. Okay. Uh, so once this happens, what we're going to do is we're going to have our total. So we're going to say we're going to display our total. So our total is going to be displayed to the screen. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to go to the top and we're going to create another variable. A uh, char and I'm gonna name it answer okay uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a do while loop since we're, we want to utilize all the loops and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, do you want to run this program again and we'll say y or n so they have to input the value y or n and uh, whatever I'll put end line so we're going to get the answer okay the reply so why we want to the reason why we're going to use a do while loop in this scenario is we want to ask the question at least once right if they give us a correct answer if they say they say the answer y or they say the answer n then that's cool right we get our answer but what if they enter another a value say they enter a numerical value or say they enter something completely different than what we want then that is a problem so we're gonna have to loop until we get the answer that we want so we're gonna say uh, while answer is not equal to y and answer is not equal to n so if uh, if answer is equal to y or n then it will uh, it will not it will end the loop right but if the answer is not equal to y so it's, it, both of these have to be true so if answer is not equal to y and it's not equal to n then it knows that it gives an invalid answer if answer is equal to y then uh, this the whole statement isn't going to be true because both of them have to be true so therefore if, if answer is equal to y then it knows that we got a valid answer or if answer is equal to n then we, it knows we got a valid answer so if we get a valid answer uh, so we're going to uh, then we continue so we're going to say that if answer is equal to n uh, then we close the program so we close that by saying done is equal to true then we're going to have an else statement and we're going to say that if it is true then we're going to reset total we're going to reset the value so we're going to set total equal to zero and uh we'll set answer equal to uh actually we'll Nah, never mind. We don't have to even change that. So we'll just set that uh, to that value. And uh, what we can do is, if you want, we can do system dot uh, system CLS. And what that will do is that it will clear the screen, so it'll move everything that we had before. But that that's optional, okay? Uh, so if we run this program, see what we get. So it's going to say enter the amount of numbers so we're going to enter two numbers right here so I'm just going to say 0 plus because the total right now is 0 so 0 plus 60 so that our answer is 60 so enter the operator uh, let's say 60 minus and enter the number 60 so uh, that's going to the total is going to be equal to 0 it's going to say do you want to run this program again y or n so if I enter L it's going to say do you want to run this program again I say O is going to say do you want to run it again if I press N then it's gonna uh, end the program now let's run this one more time uh, so if I click 2 and I say plus 
and I say 60 and I say plus 60 we should get the value 120 now it says do you want to run this again if I press Y it will clear the screen and then it'll run the whole program once again so that is it for this tutorial you just made a, a mini calculator I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye